the United Action Front of Civil Society has given a seven days ultimatum to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to apologize to Nigerians and resign over the expose of the alleged forgery and perjury of his academic records from the Chicago State University CSU. The group described the situation as outrageous and embarrassing to all Nigerians. Speaking via a statement on Friday, the spokesperson of the group, Hamisu Santoraki, demanded an apology from the president and all the APC members, while also calling for President Bola Ahmed Tinubu immediate resignation. The group argued that the revelation from the Chicago State University has confirmed the long-standing speculation surrounding the identity of the president. According to their statement, as governor of Lagos State, the personality of Bola Ahmed Tinubu was shrouded in identity opaqueness. It will be recorded that in his sworn affidavit submitted to the Independent National Electoral Commission in 1999, Tinubu firstly claimed to have attended a non-existence Areola Primary School in Lagos, Government College in Ibadan, and the University of Chicago for a master's degree in economics. But for the immunity attached to the office of the state governors under the Nigerian constitution, coupled with intense divisive media manipulations, he ought to have resigned following the examples of Senate President Evans Nwerem and Speaker of the House of Representatives Salisi Buari, both of whom at that time were forced to quit their offices over allegations of identity thieves and false claim of graduating from the University of Toronto in Canada, respectively. It is rather unfortunate that the Tinubu CSU forged certificate exposure has now confirmed the long-standing speculations regarding the identity of Bola Ahmed Tinubu. As revealed and deposed by Chicago State University that Bola Ahmed Tinubu falsely claimed to have attended government college in Ibadan and also forged the CSU diploma certificate he presented to INEC for the 2023 presidential elections. The leadership of United Action Front of Civil Society consider it a brazen criminality for President Tinubu to have forged the certificate supposedly awarded by a foreign academic institution and by so doing knowingly committed perjury under the law by submitting forged documents to INEC which include a declaration of first age, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu fragrantly violated Chapter 6, Part 1, Section 137, Subsection J of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Speaking further, the group ordered that if Tinubu refused to heed their warning, the National Assembly must immediately begin the impeachment process against him. It added, if within the next seven days, Tinubu does not apologize to all Nigerians and refuse to resign as president of Nigeria for the shame and disgrace he brought upon the country, the United Action Front of Civil Society demands that the National Assembly should demonstrate courage in protecting the image of the country. To this end, the National Assembly must not only commence an impeachment process against Tinubu on this sad discovery, it must demand explanation and restitution from him in ensuring that the dignity of the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is preserved for only the morally fit and unblemished in affirmation of the spirit and letter of Chapter 6 of 1999 Constitution as amended. The statement concluded. However, Global Human Rights Organization Amnesty International has called out the Federal Government of Nigeria 
for issuing a warning to Arise Television for allegedly using derogatory remarks on its station. According to report from our reliable source on Friday, the federal government through the National Broadcasting Corporation NBC, issued a final warning to Arise Television over the use of derogatory remarks on its station. The warning was contained in a letter titled Preponderance of Derogatory and Incendiary Remarks Final Warning by MBC Director General Dr. Balarabe Shehu Ilela on October 6, 2023. The letter urged the TV station to have a delay mechanism to guide against undesirable content. The letter which was addressed to the Chief Executive Officer of Arise Global Media Limited also urged the TV station to keep to its responsibility of keeping its guests in check. Reacting to the action, Amnesty International took to its official Twitter page to criticize the Nigerian government for using regulation to silence press independence. The international right group said the government was not ready to be held accountable so they used regulations to get at the media. The group noted that Amnesty International condemns the final warning issued to Arise TV by the federal government through National Broadcasting Commission MBC, targeting Arise TV simply for doing their work send the wrong message that Nigerian authorities are not prepared to be held accountable. Nigerian authorities must stop the unrelenting quest to silence media organizations like Arise TV, which are crucial to ensuring independence and diverse media space in the country and fulfilling people's right to information using regulation as a way to silence independent journalism is completely unacceptable. The media in Nigeria should be free to exercise their right to freedom of expression as protected by international law. The statement concluded.